up in Calcutta and uh, when I was about 10 years old and I have an elder brother, he was 11, his name is Anish and it was at 12 in the afternoon and we were really hungry and Ma wasn't home. So we were thinking what to do and we decided we want biryani. Now, at the corner of Free School Street and Kid Street, there was this restaurant called Mephit. And at around 12 in the afternoon, they would start cooking biryani. And the whole street would smell like, you know, succulent chicken and mutton and spices and saffron and kevra pani. I mean, it's the kind of fragrance that torpedoes to you. So we figured, okay, we have to get biryani and we have to do it right. So we figured we should write a note. Um, it had to be a formal letter because my brother was learning formal letter writing in school but I had better handwriting so I was going to write it and I suggested colours. So this was the plan and our note read, Dear Mr. Mephil man, we are very hungry but we have no money. Please send us biryani, thanking you, yours sincerely, Anish and Tess. And then Bosky was this guy who would come to clean and sweep the house. So Bosky had just about finished doing everything at home. And we gave the note to Bosky. And he stood there, I still remember, for what seemed like a very long pause. And we said, go, go to Method. And Bosky left. And we waited. 40 minutes later, the bell rang. It was Bosky. And it was Biryani. Our note was magic. And we had Biryani. And now the whole house was smelling delicious. About 10 or 15 minutes later, Ma came home and we told her about, oh my god, we wrote this note and we got biryani and we should send something to Mr. Merfield man and I suggested let's get chart paper and make a great card and send it to him and Ma listened to us with this wide-eyed enthusiasm and we three sat together and devoured that Martin biryani. Now those were the years of what I call peeling paint in my home, where there were words like loans and interests and pending payments and somewhere within all this peeling paint my mother would show me a rainbow. She would remind us of all the colours we had in our lives. So as the paint would peel, off-white, blue, fista, even pink. I still remember mom asking me, I don't know how we painted the dining room pink at one point in time. But she would somehow make this crumbling old British mansion of ours in Calcutta seem like this palace of stories and ideas. And it was her canvas in many ways. Years later, Ma was painting the house, which was a one-month affair. It was 17-foot ceiling, red oxide floors. It was crazy. She asked me to go to her cupboard and get something. And I went to her drawer, and I always will remember this. She had a Nivea tin jewelry box. For those who remember Nivea cream, so there were the big jars. And when I opened it, I found the note. And I went back to mom and I said, Ma. And she told me how she met Bosky downstairs. And she pulled all the change that she had in her bag. Every single rupee, 10 rupees, 5 rupees, I remember one rupee notes also being there. And she sent him to get that began. And she waited for close to an hour downstairs before coming up. You know, at a time when things were kind of tough, somewhat ugly, I think my mom always showed us beauty in everything. She made two kids believe that a note could bring you biryani. And that somewhere, if you showed kindness to someone, it would always come back to you. Thank you.